One time people thought Ringo Starr was funny, and this unfortunately made Ringo Starr think he was funny. Ringo Starr wanted to make movies because he could not play music very well. I will just go over the plot if you think Ringo Starr is talented, but down your drugs for a moment and listen to me. Explain the plot of Son of Dracula for you. A vampire! Vampire? Vampire? What are you saying? I'm saying vampire. The film plot is something like this. When Count Dracula, king of the Neverworld, is killed by a mysterious assassin, Count Down, the son of Dracula, is next in line to be the king of the Neverworld. Count Down is summoned by Merlin, played by Star, and yes, I said Merlin, as in the magician. Star dressed up as Merlin from the Santa Claus movies of the 50s, made by K. Gordon Murray. Count Down wants no part of it because he has fallen in love with Amber. Played by Susan Lee. Countdown wants to be human and with the help of a Van Helsing. For reasons he practiced in London, is the name familiar to you? Van Helsing. I should have known. Tiv Down's fangs are removed and he can now live out the rest of his days with Amber. There's some music in The Son of Dracula as well. Son of Dracula is not funny or scary. The music is not bad. If it was done right, it could have been the next Rocky Horror Picture Show. This is not the last attempt at a vampire rock movie. Okay. Good evening. Hi, hi. Did I startle you? Okay, just forget you ever saw me. Okay, because the next thing you know, we're going to go out on a date, we're going to fall in love, and then some crazy pirate is going to peg you with a hand bone. This is an actual line from Rockula made by Canon Films. The film was made in 1988. You might use your imagination and say that the film might have been better received in the late 80s. I mean, the music is just as good as any music in a Paula Abdul music video at the time. The 90s when the movie was released due to Canon filing for bankruptcy and having no money to distribute the film. Miss Cindy and I are going down in the cellar to take a little nap. Master, please be careful. What is it? You nearly stepped on my dinner. And this music does not really work for the time of the 90s. The plot is this. The whiny virgin vampire who lives with his mom, played by Tony Basil, and this relationship between mom and son has been going on for 400 years. Phoebe, played by Basil, is one sexy vampire MILF. I feel very comfortable in saying that because she was probably my age at the time. Most dancers have great bodies because they have to stay in shape to do those dances. Vampire mom does everything to keep Ralphie, the whiny vampire, home at the nest. Even if it is to trick Thomas Doby, that is right, the blinded me with science guy, you can say he blinded me with this awful acting in this film. Of course, Basil character tricks Dobie's character Stanley to dress as a pirate and wield a hand bone and convince everyone that he's a heterosexual. If you like the music videos of the 80s, this film will get you yearning for the days when MTV played music videos and not teen pregnancy reality television. Oh, oh Ralphie, did you forgive me? You know, I mentioned Basil as a sexy MILF vampire. I brought the pirate and ham bone and the music, and that is all you really need to know about this film. Who's your daddy? Be the envy of your friends. Wear the sexy cosplay t-shirt. Wear on a podcast. Wear it to convention. It's comfortable. Heck, even sleep in it. Your girlfriend will love it. You will love it. Click on the link below and get your sexy cosplay t-shirt shipped to you.